Hey guys, I posted a photograph of my strawberry setup a little while ago to the hydroponics subreddit and I got questions about how I put holes in my PVC and I tried to respond to it via text and I just, um, I don't know, I was having trouble conveying what I wanted to so I thought I'd just do a quick video on how to put holes into the PVC. Uh, the first thing I learned, um, I started out working with Schedule 40 PVC, the kind that you get like Lowe's Home Depot, and I found out that that wasn't the best PVC to use. And I found out from, I actually talked to an irrigation guy, that he turned me on to a type of PVC that he called standpipe. Um, it's a much thinner wall. Uh, this is four inch PVC, uh, but the, the wall is an eighth of an inch. And that made a big difference because when I'm using a heat gun to heat it, it, it heats up the wall very, very quickly. Whereas the, the schedule 40, I'd be sitting there for 10 minutes with the heat gun for each hole. So really quick, I'm just going to show you the process I go through to put a hole into the this standpipe. Um, the first thing I do is I measure out dots and I put the dots every eight inches along the pipe. So this is from here to here, this is eight inches. This is the next one I'm gonna be doing. And then once I get the dots, the first thing I do is drill a pilot hole. So give me just a second, I'm gonna get my drill. And this isn't a very big drill bit, it's maybe a 3 16 something like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do is going to be basically cutting a horizontal slit in the pipe. So this is a, a heat gun, I got it from either Lowe's or Home Depot, I can't remember which, but it, was a, it wasn't a special model or anything like that. They had $100 models. This was a $40 model, and it works fine. Um, the, the standpipe, because it's so thin-walled, it doesn't take very long to heat up at all. Um, it's actually starting to get soft already. And once it starts to get soft, I cut a, a horizontal slit. So it's about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. And then I continue heating. And before I do that, I'm just gonna point out, this is a one inch schedule 40, so it's the thick wall. Uh, PVC and I've cut a I don't know a sharp point into it so that's just going to help it penetrate into the wall so uh, using the heat gun again I suppose I could tell you, this one happens to be a Wagner is the brand name. I, I don't know if it makes that much difference. I'm just, every once in a while I'm touching it to see how uh, flexible it is. And that's pretty good. And I'm just going to plop this down and then shove this in and then I push it up so that the, um, you know, there's, there's a, a, quite a shallow acute angle here 
and that way we'll get this hole basically as you know sort of as horizontal as possible and then wait for this to cool down and, and re-harden um, one thing when I was doing a lot of holes one thing I did to uh, speed up the process was I had a, a, a rag and a bucket of cold water and so when I would put this in here I would put the rag and the cold water on here and it would pretty much harden instantly um, but you can see the uh, the amount of time I had the heat gun on this thin wall PVC was I don't know a minute two minutes it's nothing compared to the thick walled PVC um, and then now there's there's this nice hole here um, that's it that's that's all I do to make these holes um, to do the entire pipe. Uh, this particular pipe is uh, five feet long. Um, gosh, I think it's like 14 holes is how many holes. Uh, but you can see it, it hardly takes any time at all. It takes about a half an hour to do the entire pipe. Um, so definitely discovering this stand pipe was a, a big deal. Um, so that's it for how to make a hole in a pipe. Um, if there are any qu other questions, if I get a lot of other questions on, uh, you know, the, the Hydro subreddit, then I might do another video, but um, I just wanted to share, this is my method. There's other methods. I've, I've seen other videos out there, but this is my method. Um, thanks a lot, and I hope you guys have uh, some success with hydroponics.